everybody, welcome to Brick Vault. My name's Jack, and today we have a DC Comics superhero set for you. Kryptonite Interception. This set is recommended for ages 7 to 14. It is set 76045 and it has 306 pieces. Included are two Lexicorp henchmen and a brand new Batman. The new vehicles in this set are a forklift that seem to have stud shooters and the redesigned Batmobile. Let's check out the contents of the box. Okay, we've got three bags, some stickers, two manuals, and a comic book. Let's get started. Just finished the set, let's take a look at the minifigs. First up is Batman. He's got a gray body with gray and black molded legs to show his boots. And this is a new printing on his chest piece. The bat symbol on the chest is very big and the gold utility belt has some small orange detailing in there. It looks really cool up close. And you can see on the front and back of the chest piece an underlying silver pattern that's kind of reminiscent of chainmail. He's got a soft cloth cape and a black mask. And underneath he has two expressions. Both are dissatisfied, but one has his mouth slightly open. And you can see he got a little bit of a tan. And he also comes with a metallic battering. They usually come in black. He's a cool minifig, like the double molding, but let's move on to the henchmen. They've got brown pants and dark green jackets, and detailing that shows pockets, zippers, and a keycard. Also has Lexicorp on the back. Our one henchman has a goatee and black slicked back hair. His first expression being calm and the other one is very angry. And our second henchman has brown slicked back hair and looks pretty sad or pretty angry. He also carries an extra big stud gun. But let's check out this Batmobile now. It's a bit bigger than I expected from the pictures, but still manages to remain very low to the ground, kind of like a sports car. In the back, you can see some interesting shapes being made with some of the pieces here. And a lot of these flaps in the back can be adjusted, but only slightly. I like the big wheels in the back, along with those wheel covers on the sides. I think the coolest part for sure, though, is the cockpit. It's nice and wide, which gives Batman plenty of space to fit in. But it's really awesome how the cockpit opens up, though. Both halves of the top lift up and splay outwards. It's a very cool and unique feature in LEGO, and I'm really glad that they gave it to the Batmobile. But moving on to the front, we can see that the wheels are a little smaller. Makes the overall look of the vehicle look a little bit more like a drag racer, especially Especially if you take a look at it from the profile. But looking back to the front, you can see it is all about the firepower. There are two adjustable armored turrets behind the front wheels, and there are a couple of stud guns facing forward right in the front. I like this setup for the stud guns. They're right at minifig level, which makes it perfect for shooting your targets. I'm really happy with this model overall, and now I'm really curious to see how this thing does in the Batman vs Superman movie. But we do have a couple more features of the set. This here is the Lexicor forklift. It's got a black and green color scheme with a little bit of orange from the uh, sticker there. And it looks like a pretty standard forklift at first glance. It's got an opening roll cage for seating a minifigure into the driver's seat, as well as this up and down function with the forks themselves. This is nothing new and the rubber band is still way too powerful. Don't let your finger accidentally slip off the action when you're picking up that kryptonite or else everything goes flying. What makes this forklift unique, however, are the two flick missiles on the sides. And I think that is the definition of an evil corporation, if your forklifts have missiles. Also, there is this little tab in the back, and if you press it down, we have a destruction function. Because let's face it, a forklift, no matter how heavily armed, is not going to win against the Batmobile. But we're not done yet. I did mention the kryptonite. There is a small wooden deck with handrails that holds three capsules of kryptonite. I do like the look of the trans green crystals, but be careful, the transparent covers over them don't actually attach to the capsules themselves. They just kind of rest there. 
So that's it for this episode. I'm really happy with this new Batmobile and this new Batman figure is pretty awesome. If you'd like to pick up one of these sets for yourself, you can go ahead and click the link in the video description below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you here next time at Brickfall. Thank you.